so let us have one more actually what is natural rubber it is produced from latex naturally or from rubber plants these are having isoprene units ch3 double bond c h ch ch2 ch2 c double bond ch3 c ch hydrogen ch2 ch2 c double bond c ch3 hydrogen it takes place <coughs> so it continuously takes place then the resulting species is called as a rubber in this rubber isoprene units are connected with each other isoprene units are present so what are isoprene units ch3 sorry ch2 double bond coh ch double bond ch2 we can consider it as 2 hydroxy 1 comma 3 butadiene molecules are called as isoprene units in natural rubber isoprene units are connected with each other to form a long polymer the resulting long polymer is called as natural rubber so to improve physical and chemical aspects are softened and hardened character of this rubber the vulcanization of rubber takes place what is vulcanization rubber in this vulcanization of rubber process the rubber is reacted with sulfur to produce sulf disulfide bonds in between the two polymer chains or two chains of rubber like this CH2, CH2, S, S, CH2, CH2. This is disulfide bond or sometimes it will take place like this. N, N the same or CH2, S, CH2. CH2, CH2, yes, CH2, it takes place. Just observe here, in between two chains, there is a binding of sulfur atom. These sulfurs are binded with covalent or Van der Waal, oh, sorry, covalent bond formation. So, during this, the stiffness of rubber increases. Generally, the vulcanization process is used in the preparation of tire rubber tire rubber so the vehicles consist of tire at the time of preparation of the tire rubber the rubber reacted with rubber reacted with 5 percentage of sulfur so during this the stiffness and hardness of the rubber increases so this process of uh, this process which takes place on natural rubber is called as vulcanization of rubber and one more example is synthetic rubber is also available synthetic rubber what is synthetic rubber natural rubber generally produced from the latex latex is resulting from plant material or plant body whereas in the second one synthetic rubbers are also available synthetic rubber so one example for synthetic rubber is neoprene so it is having some elasticity character or elastic character what is neoprene ch2 double bond c cl ch double bond ch2 what are these 2 chloro 1 3 butadiene when n number of 2 chloro 1 3 butadiene reacts with each other addition polymerization expected between unsaturated monomers and finally produces c h c h 2 and it will extend its chain then the resulting polymer is called as neoprene so what is the chemical substance or monomer required to produce poly, polymer neoprene polymer 2 chloro 1 comma 3 butadiene 2 chloro 1 comma 3 butadiene and one more example 
for synthetic rubber is buna n so what is buna n here CH3 sorry CH2 double bond CH CH double bond CH2 when reacts with acryl nitrile CH2 double bond CH CN the polymerization expected to different monomers so the preparation of buna n is also example for copolymerization what is copolymerization the polymerization which takes place in between two different types of monomers to produce our desired polymer are called as copolymerization so the copolymerization expected here and produces double bond ch ch2 ch2 ch cn it continuously takes place until our compound results so the resulting compound is called as buna n so this is about different types of polymerizations available to produce polymers addition polymerization and condensation polymerization and different types of rubbers synthetic rubber and natural rubber